just got a call from the Starbucks by Red Arrow Park. They say there's a homeless guy that's sleeping there if you want to check on him. He's a black male, 30 to 40 years old. 1246, 1246, shots fired, shots fired, officer involved. One person is shot and killed by Milwaukee police in the heart of downtown Milwaukee. The chief says the suspect grabbed the officer's baton and started beating him with it. Understand that this is the initial version of events. Today is the grand opening tea party for the mothers for Justice Circle. So for now, I'll just put it there. I'm going to be introduced to the other mothers that are going through the same type of pain I am. I still got my days, I still have my nights, and it's been 15 years. Right. You know? Her son was shot 14 times, yes. mine was shot seven. Your, your husband was shot six. That's why I'm here, and I thank God That's that I'm why. here, you know? Man. You know, yeah. Dante was my brilliant child. He never showed any signs of any kind of paranoid or schizophrenic, he was normal. He had a driver's license, uh, he paid his own bills. We start seeing signs when he would say things like, did you hear that? You don't hear that? On April 30th, Dontre went to Red L Park, something that he frequently did throughout his life. He was sitting in the park and the manager at Starbucks called the police to have Dante removed because she thought he was a homeless man. The first call, the police officers answered her call and they came out and they had a discussion with Dante. And they went and told her they found that he wasn't doing anything wrong. When the call came through dispatch, it went to Christopher Manny, the beat cop. Me and they kind of got in, into back and forth words to the point where the officer grabbed his baton out and struck Dontre a couple times with the baton. Dontre took the baton. Um, and from there, you have the officer saying that Dontre struck him. You have witness saying that Dontre never hurt, hit the officer. We were told that Christopher Manny jumped to try to retrieve the baton from Dontre, and he missed, and he pulled his gun out, and he shot my baby 14 times. I sat on the couch for two months, and I believe the whole two months I was in shock. I felt like I had nothing, and I felt alone. They're saying that Dante was homeless, and he just crazy, schizophrenic, and that's why he was shot. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me, in the presence of mine enemies. Right, he yeah. said my son pushed him, and now he hit him in his head. I was like, we don't know if that's true, there's only two people know that's yeah. true, and that one of them is dead. Right, right. he's a person, he's a person. They're killing people that don't have weapons. All they have to say is, I feared for my life after they murder people. These are the ones that died this year. I don't want to mix them. I found out that justice wasn't served in any of these cases, and it was overwhelming. <laughs> All right, thank you, sweetheart. It was good hearing from you. And I'm praying for you, and, and, and be strong. I'm the uh, founder of Mothers for Justice United. I decided to name this march the Million Moms March, not really expecting it to get as big 
as it has. Let me tell you a little bit about the trip. We're leaving here. We're going to Washington, D.C. May 9th. May 9th is my birthday, and Dante was buried on May 9th. Maria Hamilton is the main organizer and will lead a Mother's Day march that will take place Saturday of this week, and they're going to be meeting with people in the White House. You have been incredible, calling people to accountability, organizing other mothers. Meeting these moms and doing the research brought me to this place that I'm at. I'm not sure if I lost a child in such a terrible, violent way, if I would have the courage or the strength. I just want to praise you ladies for having the courage to speak up. I also personally believe that there should be some form of a, of, of a civilian panel yes. that is involved as well. We're headed to talk to staffers about police brutality and vigilante killings. So nervous. We're going to give them our demands. We're just asking all the moms right now who have a meeting at the White House, we'd like you to come into this room. We're ordering a national call for the DOJ to help special prosecutors, people that do not have any kind of links to the police officers or the DA's office. Hopefully we can get cases reopened and possibly get justice for their kids' life. We didn't do the script that was proposed. This is life, this is reality. The voice that we gave today, it might have been crying, but I think they heard us though. Because everybody seemed like they just wanted to break down at any given second. And then I think once we left, I think they gonna cry. I have post-traumatic stress disorder. I take medication to keep the flashbacks away because my son was shot and killed in my home, in my face, in front of me and my daughter. They broke his door, they tears him, they shoot him 10 times. And I've been trying to piece together exactly what happened. Fight back! Fight back! Fight back! It is so many moms that didn't feel anybody cared that have joined forces with us, and it's no stopping now. We're sitting here waiting, and while we're waiting, more babies are dying. Because there's so much violence, and it needs to stop. No one deserves to die the way Don Trey died. I was broken until I learned how to fight. I will be back here every year to make sure that these police officers that are taking human life go to jail. It could have been, it could have been mine. I think hey, that's the sentiment of the president. Yeah. That's, a, that's, the, that's the feeling of our attorney general. And I'm not your son, but mom, happy birthday. Happy Mother's Day. Dr. Trey was bigger than life. I hear him rapping. I see him with his great Jordans. But what I enjoy most is his smile. We are considering starting some Mothers for Justice chapters all over the United States. I, I want to have a national organization. I'm determined to get change. So Mothers for Justice gives me hope. I was pregnant. 
I had to get my prenatal pills, so we went to Rite Aid. A Caucasian man walks up, pushes Dante's into a shelf, and runs.